I remember the early days in Glasgow with the uh, children's camp. And I remember our two boys going to the camp and having such a wonderful time. That was really how we became involved with Lubavitch, through the camp. Hi there, I enjoyed working with Sora in the nursery with the children. We used to have great fun. I was always in the kitchen with my hands in the sink. My name to fame is I taught him to make a tie. Fifty years ago, when I worked with my father and Michael Morrison and son, Kumi took her first step across the shop floor to get a pickled cucumber that we were holding up for her at the other end of the shop. And I'll never let her forget it. <laughs> I think the Bavit is fantastic. We were here the first day time and saw it arrive in Glasgow yeah. and we had children together. When Sora was pregnant with her six, Kaim came to me and said, No. I said, Kaim, you've won the race. God bless you both. And here's another 50 years. Ladies and gentlemen. Please watch and put your hands together to welcome Rabbi Levinson Jacobs and tonight's guests of honor, David and Carol Walton. Tonight we celebrate 50 years of the Babish of Scotland. During that time, they haven't dreamed about success, they've worked for it. They have served this community with love and devotion. The Jacobs, Reb Chaim and Sarah Jacob, who were sent here 50 years ago, a lifetime, a jubilee in Yeovil, and are still beyond horror going strong. I would like you to take this as a gift, as a continuation that just, to, just as you have started the first 50 years, please God, the next 50 years are going to be even more amazing. But it's genuinely very, very good in the sense that the rabbi will come in and uh, explain about things like the Jewish New Year, bringing gifts, and it's an opportunity to actually shine a light on the Jewish faith. <laughs> Would you please be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen, and join with me. The toast is the Queen. God bless her. When my son passed away, it was just a few days before Pesach. And I don't want to tell you what it's like a few days before Pesach. Your parents came and helped me. Your mum cleaned out my, my, my fridge. I, I, I can't believe what she did for me in my kitchen and we were sitting Shiva, and um, that's the essence that your parents do in the community, that is, you know, it's done quietly and behind the scenes. I would like on behalf of Cynthia and myself to wish Rabbi Chaim and Auntie Sora a, a mazel tov for reaching this milestone, which we are celebrating this evening. Please everybody join me. Yerushalayim shel zahav v'shel nechoshet v'shel or halorecha v'shidirayich ani kinor. We never travel. We make a point of going to see the Babbage centers. They're all thriving because of what Lubavitch bring to Judaism. It's unique and it's wonderful. And in Glasgow, we have been very fortunate to have Chaim and Sora. Can I ask you to please stand up and raise your glasses for the toast is Chaim and Sora, Rabbi and Mrs. Jacobs. When we arrived here in Glasgow as a newly married couple, you both welcomed us and looked out for us. Today, 30 years later, you continue to be an inspiration. You are an example to me of what it means to be a chassid of a rebbe. 
Ladies and gentlemen and dear friends, it is an honor to be joined by all of you on this momentous occasion celebrating 50 years of Lubavitch in Scotland. And it's my privilege to welcome you here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give Rabbi Helft a warm Scottish welcome. Lubavitch in Scotland for 50 years? Well, we spent 10 million pounds and planted five million seeds. Let me tell you, not an easy task, not an easy job, and I must tell you, I envy the accomplishments that you have both done and accomplished here in this, uh, in this city. What a wonderful simcha it is this evening to celebrate 50 years of shlichus and service to the Glasgow and Ger Scottish Jewish community. I'm sure I speak for everyone here when I thank you both and the Jacobs family, family for their commitment over the last 50 years. Tonight's dinner and wish you all every happiness, good health and continued success. Thank you. Mantat and Mendel, never underestimate the difference you have made and the lives you have touched. May Hashem continue to give you the strength and fortitude to keep up your good work for many more years to come. And may your greatest dreams come true very soon, that we all meet for all the future events in the temple with the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days. children. I know many things have been said tonight, however I felt that I would just like to speak for a few moments to thank six very special people. We have, thank God, been merited to serve the Jewish Glasgow community for 50 years. This would not have been possible without the special sacrifice of our dear children. <laughs> It's only one very last thank you from me to you. Thank you.